Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. Move along. Oh, all right. Right, it was in here, wasn't it? You do the sky? Shouldn't. Metagel works wonders on staff wounds, and yours was shallow. Huh. You sound disappointed. No, no, it's fine. I'm fine. Good news, Doctor. Got your formula. You have no idea what this means to me. One of your old co workers, Dr. Farron, claimed she helped you create Oblivion, that it was always meant to be a drug. That's a lie. Arena's not even a doctor. Figured as much. You've only shown yourself to be a decent man. Thank you, Pathfinder. I won't forget this. I was that class leadership about trouble in Kadara. Alright, well that's you taken care of. Yay! Water's better. That's good. Upstairs. Do I need to talk to you at all? By my surveyor? Not yet. Alright, okay, haven't done this bit yet. Alright, hey Reyes. Saved me the trouble of looking for you. Something wrong? Have there been more murders? Nothing so morbid. This is actually a personal favor. A business rival, Zia Cordier, lifted cargo I was moving for a client. You want my help getting it back? We worked so well together on the row car job, I thought you'd be willing. What did she steal? No idea. Client paid extra for privacy. Considering my fees, it must be valuable. You didn't check? Honors got a price. And the client paid it. Fair enough. how this rival of yours get hold of your cargo? Her usual tactics. Got my middleman drunk, then stole his ship. Sounds like you know from experience. Please, I keep to a three drink maximum when I'm on a job. We cut the profits, 50-50. 60-40. Final offer. Deal. When she stops in Kadara, Zia drinks at Krala's song. We'll start there. See if Umi heard anything that could help us. Yeah, sure. I'll take 60. Okay, let's level everyone up. Meet Reyes at Kral's song. Where is that? Right. Yeah, back in, back in the port. Fair enough. Oops. Well, at least the water isn't trying to kill us anymore. That's always a good thing. Oh. 
Okay, that's done. Still need to track down Reyes's cargo, though. Take it this beauty is yours? The Tempest? Yeah, she's mine. Hell of a ship. We don't get many like her. Colt Dalton, Kadara Docks Manager. Sloan said to make sure no one harasses you. Awfully nice of her. Uncharacteristically so. You must be important. How safe is it here? Eh, safety's a commodity on Kadara. It depends on how much you're willing to spend. The port's gun free, but murder comes in all shapes and sizes. I've noticed. Still better than living outside the mountain. It's no man's land out there. Does Kadara get a lot of traffic? Since we moved in? Oh yeah. Kadara is one of the few planets in Helios with a functioning economy. Got Angara and exiles from all over Helios moving their cargo through this port. Thanks for your time. <sighs> Back to work. You sound excited to be here. I want my N7 stuff. Right. Okay, I've got plenty of everything else for the N7 stuff, I just need a shitload of platinum. Fair enough. Can't find good help to save my life. Uh, I'll go manifest. Yeah. Remy made it back safe. I promise to take care of her protection fees for the next few months. Next time, double check before you kick someone out of their home. I will. Don't worry. Thanks for finding her. I owe you. All right. No. We've got here Cora's over there. We've got Drak and Jarl over there. Vetra is there. You're not listed. EB, Jim, Liam. Ask a custody ship about trouble on Kadara. Right, so we've got a few things to do. Going the right way? Yes. You. You've handled your fair share of cat. <laughs> Hard to get far in Andromeda without running into them. Yes, and? When Sloane took over, she slaughtered the cat who were here. There were mass executions, public. So people would know that Kadara was cat free. But there have been rumors of stragglers in the Badlands. If the tales are true, they need to go. What exactly are the rumors about the cat? Ambushes. People disappearing, vehicles sabotaged, picked clean for parts. Could be feral local wildlife, sinkholes, and Gara bullshit, but there's enough people saying Ket. You said Sloan killed the Ket here. What happened? The Ket had the port locked down when we arrived. They were shipping Angara off for who knows what. People were scared, but the place had potential. So we fought the Ket for it, and we won. You saw the decorations outside. That's Sloan making sure everyone knows she's the new power. If there are Ket out there, send your own crew to deal with them. Listen, this is how it is. Everyone knows Sloan destroyed the Ket presence here. Anything that hints otherwise, weakness. But you, 
You're independent. Where you go, what you do. Nothing to do with Sloan. I'll think about checking out the Badlands. Excellent. Alright. Alright, we've had a chat with you. Uh, not that way. Alright, let's go chat with Reyes. Hello, you. Morgar, where are you? You okay? None of your business, Inard. Whoa, sorry. Just wanted to help. Your kind never just offers something. There's always a price. Living under Sloan, I can see why you'd think that. But we're not all the same. You do look different from the others. Cleaner. So what's troubling you? My sister, Morgar, works the pipes. Make sure the port has filtered water. But she's been missing for three days. Is Morga's line of work dangerous? It can be. Kadara's water is highly acidic. Fixing a leaky pipe could result in major burns. But no one knows Kadara's filtration system like Morga. Is it unlike your sister not to check in? Extremely. We're all that's left of our family. The rest were murdered when the Ket invaded Kadara. I'll keep an eye out for your sister. Thank you. Pathfinder, we could use the grates to scan the pipes at a safe distance. Excellent. All right, that's you spoken to. I mean, I suppose I could just buy a load of platinum. Searching for Morga, scan for signs of Morga. Negative Pathfinder. Dead for three days. Fits the timeline. Better tell the sister. Shit. Not the news I was hoping to give, but this is Kadara. You're back. I found a body trapped beneath the pipes. I think it might be Morga. I told her not to work alone. I wish I had better news. It's better than not knowing. Thank you. Damn. Yeah, jobs like that really shouldn't be done alone. It's in high levels of alcohol, so it's blood stream. Would not recommend waking them anytime soon. <laughs> hey, Drac. You know, Kadara ain't half bad. Nexus could learn a thing or two. Who do you think the charlatan could be? Anyone or no one. A lot of people would rather get behind a story than face reality. Who do you think the charlatan could be? Wrong one. Anyone or no one. A lot of people would rather get behind a store. I assume you have opinions about Sloan? That's putting it lightly. Sloan switched sides, helped the uprising when she was head of Nexus security. I don't like Tan any more than I like her, but loyalty counts. How does this place stack up to the Krogan colony? Hard to compare. The colony's ours. It works for Krogan. These exiles are onto something here if they could just get along. Why do you drink here instead of Tartarus? This place has Umi. She gets me. Oh, or at least she keeps pouring. <laughs> Don't have too much fun. We'll see. There's Reyes. 
Yeah, hey, Joe. Pathfinder, I'm uncomfortable here. I'm trying to be cheerful, but I'm not doing a good job. Jal, keep your voice down. Why? I am not ashamed of my feelings. <laughs> You look like you're waiting for someone. That's my line. Ugh. You want a drink or a room? Information, actually. That'll cost you more than a round of drinks. My friend's good for it. You still owe me for the last time. Fine, fine. It was just a joke. <laughs> I've got a bottle of Elasa I'm willing to part with. What do you want to know? Zia Cordier. She been around recently? You mean your ex? Yeah, she was here. You never mentioned Zaya was your girlfriend. Uh, she's not. We drink together sometimes. I drink with a lot of people. Anyway, she was here? Yeah, met with a Solarian. Shifty guy I'd never seen before. Maybe it was the charlatan. Anything's possible. You overhear their conversation? They were planning to meet someone at Spirit's Ledge. Thanks, Umi. Whatever. You didn't hear it from me. If you check the meeting spot, I'll follow the collective lead. Doubt Zia was meeting the charlatan, but you never know. I'll call you when I get there. Thanks, Ryder. Alrighty. Okay, so nothing else really to do here. The Tempest. Oh, we're leaving Kadara. All right, I'm going. Jeez, why are drugs so antisocial? Hey, PB. back with a curl of your lip yeah good plan thanks let's do what we have to then scram huh uh this way alien relax costa they don't know i was a cop i'm not one now no trouble Pathfinder, feeling out of place at the moment. And side effect, coming here makes me hate Tan a whole lot more. These are our people. Our job is to get people home. That includes Kadara. Glad to hear it. They were exiled to nothing and built up to this. We need that on our side. Damn right we do. Uh... What's in here? Hey, you! Oh, thank God. Didn't think anyone would stop. I need you to deliver a message. Please. First, tell me why they've got you locked up. Uh, I may have had too much to drink and urinated on one of the guards. <laughs> I've always been a bad drunk. What kind of message? Nothing illegal, just... I just need to get word to my girlfriend. She's probably worried sick. Alright, what's the message? My girlfriend, Sila, works at Tartarus. Most beautiful Asari you've ever seen. Skin like the ocean, eyes like... Jim, 
The message? Right. Tell Sila I've run into a, a complication. But I'll have the credits to pay Sloan's protection fee soon. Ask her to wait for me. Oh, and leave out the part where I'm in jail. Thanks. Hmm. Uh <sighs> Go and go and recruit racist. Right, where's Tartarus? Downstairs. I'm guessing that's you I need to scan. Yep, there we go. Uh, let's to Sam's return to the Tempest. I mean, I assume we're supposed to go back to the Tempest. Instructions not clear. Damn, that's a long loading screen. <laughs> What's up, Ryder? Why an emergency meeting? I didn't call it. I did. Got some disturbing news while we were on Kadara. There's some tension at the Krogan colony on Eladin. It's bad. Tension among Krogan? You don't say. I wouldn't waste your time with this if it wasn't important. We need to go. I agree. Nakmor Morta made herself overlord of the colony. It's weird. No. Our priority is the Archon. We have to remain focused on his next move. Jal's right. I know dealing with so many unknowns is frustrating, but we need to hear each other out. Well, as long as we're pitching stuff, I overheard outlaws on Kadara talking about activity in the Ramav system. No, that's the system where the Turian Golden World was supposed to be. Ramav? There aren't any viable planets there. Only an asteroid field with mining ventures run by criminals. I hear Eladin's pretty rough too. Roving scavengers with nothing to lose. Crap. No one fights harder than people with nothing to lose. But now that we have the transponder, we're so close to finding the location of Archon's ship. Our goal is to create our home here. You never know how something might fit in. Anyway. Get Callow the nav points for both Eladin and that potential Turian Golden World. We want all our options ready to go. Hey, I didn't say dismissed or meeting adjourned or anything. Meeting adjourned. As you were. <laughs> yeah. Check your email. Alrighty. Cool, so now we've got the Krogan homeworld to look at. Yeah? When's the last time you had a normal conversation? This is a normal conversation. <laughs> no. This is you trying to figure me out, categorize my flaws, put a label on me. That isn't. Everyone on this ship is an experiment to you. And I've got no interest in being a guinea pig. <sighs> Oof. Kadara Port's pretty grisly, huh? Probably get into all sorts of trouble there. And now we're going after the Archon's ship? Sure that's a good idea. In the absence of any others, it's an excellent one. Guess I can't argue with that. Anything else to go over? Is there more about Kalinda you want to share? 
Back home, she was upper crust. An ambassador, respected, living the high life, but miserable. Not built for royalty, she said. With her position, the initiative sought her out as a first contact specialist. First wave out of stasis. Kalinda was the one who got me thought out early. I'm so grateful for that. But things went south soon. She hurt me. Pretty badly. What happened? Oh, let's not drum up that sob story. It's all water under the bridge. I have to admit, when you invited me to your apartment, I thought you might be luring me there for something else. You thought, or you hoped? I might have been hoping. That hope had crossed my mind as well. <laughs> if Kalinda hadn't intruded, who knows what might have happened. Nice. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Right. Let's go check our emails. You have new email at your terminal, Pathfinder. Thanks, Sam. The Asari Ark. Ryder had a breakthrough on the location of the Asari Ark. Please come talk to me on the Tempest ASAP. Right. Uh, Sid, Ryder, an encrypted message came from Sid. She uh, says she wants to talk to us. Sounds urgent. Going to need you for this one, so swing by when you can. Cool. Meeting with Axel. Pathfinder, Jal expressed that you wish to meet with Axel. It has been a long time since he and I spoke. He, he was so changed by the cat, it was difficult to talk to him. But perhaps enough time has passed and together we can reason with him. I've arranged a meeting at my laboratory on Aya. Please come at your earliest convenience. Excellent. Uh, Victor's Rex, Ryder. I'm hearing rumours that scavengers found pieces of an Ark on a planet called Elodin. Might be nothing, but worth checking out. Cool. Uh, when we left our old home, we never planned on having to negotiate with an alien civilization for a new one. It's vital we placate the Angara and keep them on our side. They've opened an embassy on Aya, and our diplomatic team is already settling in. I'm counting on you to ensure our success. You've established ties with the resistance leader, the Moshai, and Aya's governor. Do all you can to learn everything about them and their supporters. The better we understand Aya's political structure, the more successful we'll be gaining their help colonising Helios. Sure thing. Ryder, I must be brief, but I hear my virus was a success and Sam is disconnected. Excellent news. We should talk in person. I've enclosed the nav point for our sanctuary on Kadara. The virus was only the first a first step. You could be a strong ally in our future efforts. Night. Ah. The people who tried to disconnect Sam. Captain Dan Ryder, please see me on the Hyperion deck to discuss a sensitive matter. Ooh, blimey. Dear Pathfinder, this is Sidira, uh, Vetra's sister, but everyone calls me Sid. I know this isn't following protocol because who I am to contact a Pathfinder through their personal console, right? But I know Vetra will tell me I'm overreacting, and I swear I wouldn't do this unless I thought it was something serious. There's just stuff going on here that doesn't really add up and people are getting hurt. It's hard to explain. Can we talk in person? I'm in operations. Uh, there's a uh, saying you've just got back from Kadara Port. There isn't much official word from there or the exiles. Can you give me a few more, a few on camera? Yeah, sure. Reyes, spread uh, the word at Tartarus and in port of your expert handling of the Roka. I only made a few embellishments and left out my involvement, of course. Wouldn't want to steal your spotlight. Correct. Hey, Ryder. One of my friends from Kadara sent a list of tips on surviving out there. It's mostly common sense, but here are some gems. No one knows who the charlatan is. Asking is dangerous. Be really careful dealing with Sloane and anyone who works for her. Yeah, that's damn, that's for sure. Politics on Kadara are less about who's got the biggest stick and more about who's willing to use the sticks they have in creative ways. There's a hole in the wall place in the slums that makes the best cup of uh, Quilloa, whatever that is. Do not mix Quilloa with other stimulants, no matter what anyone says, humans only. Don't ask Umi the bartender to surprise you. <laughs> 
uh, to Pathfinder Rider. We are currently hosting the first Angaran Ambassador to the Nexus. Despite the importance of your duties, we hope your next return to the station will coincide with his visit. A cordial meeting between the Pathfinder to first reach Aya and the Angaran Ambassador would set the tone for our relations in the future. Respectfully yours. Cool. Matriarch credits. Last time I was on Kadara, I met the Sasari at Kralas who said she let me on a little score. Apparently, there's this matriarch who came over on the Nexus, only she died in stasis. My contact says she's next in line for the old lady's credits, a lot of credits, and get this, she says she'll split them with me. Trouble is, there's red tape, transfer fees, and she's having trouble mustering up the credits to clear them. Ask me if I could cover the transfer cost. This sounds like a scam, Drac. I tried to bring Vetra in on this, but she says it's a scam. I'm not so sure. Seems like a pretty good opportunity to me. No, no, Drac. Scam. Very obviously a scam. It was a scam. Do me a favour and don't tell Vetra. Yeah, told you. Though I uh, thought I'd show you what Struck sent me. A transcript of an audio log that's got me worried about the uh, Conley. Sounds like more just cooking up something. Don't know what to think. Stop arguing with me, Brink. It's payback time for the initiative. They don't care about us, but they will. Soon they're going to know that I'm the Overlord. And once I execute my plan, there'll be no denying that the Krogan rule Helios and they'll come begging to us. Okay, Morda, I'll get a team together, gather everything we need. No Krogan bows down to the Nexus again. All right. There is a lot going on. All right. I'm going to recommend Team White. Glory can take. Yay, more cans. Are you sure about that, Lexi? We don't know how long we're going to need the rations to last. Even trading with Kadara and Aya, we don't have a reliable food source in Helios yet. I'm sure you'll find a way. All right, Cora's not in here. That's PB, Giles in there, obviously that's Kalo and Suvi, Drax are there, Gil, Liam, Sam, Lexi, Cora, Loyalty Mission, the Asari Arc, and Loyalty Mission. Okay. Finally getting loyalty missions. So the Angara were fighting their own this whole time. Fuck. I wonder how Jaws taking it. Not well. All right. Uh, Cora. Sorry, Ark. Let's go. We got it, Ryder. You patched up the Asari flight recorder? Some old access codes, a little data recovery from Sam. We have the Asari Ark's last heading. Nav points are set. We can head there whenever you're ready. Remember the survey ship? This might not be pretty. Are you... Handling tough stuff is my job. We need the Asari and Sarissa more than ever. I trust you to find them before the Ket do. Ah, oh, thanks, Cora. I appreciate that. That's the valet system for the for Ark Sina. However you pronounce that. Hey, Ryder. Got an encrypted message from Sid. She has news and wanted to talk to us both. Connecting the call now. Finally, I've been waiting for hours. So you want to tell us what this is all about? I was listening to outpost updates and caught a message about settlers going missing. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, because it's not. They were kidnapped. I dug around, and I think I know where they've been taken. A cave on a moon in the Ramav system. Originally an Angaran mine, I think, but they abandoned it. I don't believe the planet you're talking about is a moon. Whatever. <laughs> what did I tell you about getting involved? I couldn't just do nothing. 
How do we know your intel's even reliable? It's reliable. I trust your sister, and there's no sense in wasting time. See? That's a Pathfinder. Sid, just give us everything you have on this. Already done. Could I come along? I want to help. <sighs> you know the answer to that. Right, of course. Stay away from bad people, guns, bombs, Krogan beer. You did good. I just want you to be safe, okay? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. That's the end of that conversation. So wait, okay. We have options. Okay. Yes! Excellent stuff. Right. Do I have points to spend? I do have points to spend. Get one of those. I've got four more things. So we'll get that. Special forces. Yes. Grey market connections. Yes. And back to some expanded field analysis. Yeah, let's get one of those as well. Okay, nice. How are my strike teams doing? Mission successful. Good job, guys. Excellent stuff. Okay. 93% chances of success. Go. False flag operation. Uh, Said a strike team. 89%. Off you go. Identify the spy. There you go. Okay, I have no more teams to send. Right, look at all those resources. Right, Callo, how are you and uh, Gil getting on? The hell you did? You can't just undo ten hours of work. I had to. Your revamp risks power imbalance between decks, something we solved back home. It's twice as efficient. Just because it doesn't match your sainted specs. And now it does. As you say, deal with it. Callo. I know, just please don't let this distract you. Oh, that's going to come to a head at some point. We might have a problem. I was running some numbers, mass balances and such. The Tempest is carrying about 70 kilos of extra mass. I think something's aboard that doesn't belong. 70 kilos is enough mass for another person. Our internal sensors aren't getting anything, but they're not as powerful as a Pathfinder's scanner. Can you take a look? All right. I'll look around the ship and see what I can find. No extra mass in the airlock. Too bad. It'd be easy to get rid of it. <laughs> Hush. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. <gasps> Didn't mean to scare you. What? Uh, I'm... I'm not scared. Uh, one second. What's going on in here? You look busy. If I'm busy, my mind is occupied with whatever I'm working on, uh, rather than worrying. Whatever gets you through. Uh, I'd like your advice on something. I'm making gifts for everyone. I have a list. Gifts? Hmm. Do Turians like poetry? 
Uh, for Vetra, I'm writing a poem and engraving it on... Uh, well, uh, I'm not sure yet. Uh, I can't remember if Turians are about poetry. Who doesn't like a personalised poem? Ah, great. <laughs> Maybe I could just recite it for her. Make sure I'm there for that. <laughs> Leo seems to like my Rothgin. I might sew him one. He does. Do Krogan like knives? I could craft a ceremonial Angaran dagger for Drac. Who wouldn't want that? It's mainly decorative. Would you like one? Jal, this is a lot of work. What's really going on? I'm sure that I seem confident and skilled to you, but I'm not. Or I don't feel like I am. I feel like that a lot. <laughs> Good to know. Yes, thanks for sharing that. Just be yourself. My family is well known. Our lineage is respected. And many of my kin have achieved great things. I've never been one of them. So many older siblings and cousins who succeeded at everything. I stopped trying to keep up. Right. Thanks for listening. You're not in anyone's shadow here. I believe in you. None of the equipment in here would produce extra mass readings. I think I know where, I remember where it is. Go down to the kitchen. Pretty sure that's where it was. No extra mass in the bathroom. Phew. 70 kilos is a lot to flush away. As if any of your meals passed the bucket test. Everything here looks normal. No stowaways, no extra mass. Now picture it in a bucket beside a bar. Would you still eat it? Right. Crumbs on the deck. You found them too? I think something's eating our stores. Follow the crumb trail. Nothing more this way. More crumbs. Going where? Got it. Suvi, that extra mass is behind the storage room bulkhead. Behind it? It looks like a construction mech welded right into the hull. Scanning the parts has activated an audio log. I think I know what that's about, Ryder. Come up to the bridge. All right. Are there more crumbs?
Something's nesting here. Something that likes cereal. I wonder. We've probably got materials to build a humane trap and catch it. Alright. Build a trap at the research station. Fair enough. And speak to Kello. Okay, this isn't going to be a very exciting episode. Uh, develop humane trap. Place the trap at the creature's lair. One trap, ready for a visitor. I'll leave it and see what we get. All right. All right, now, Callo. Watch the drama, lad. parts you found welded in the storage room. I recognize them. From where? They belong to the ship's lead designer, Lucille Diawara. She broke her back during construction. But Lucille wouldn't abandon her ship. She converted a construction mech into a rig she could wear. She must have welded it into the hull. Her artist's signature. Not even a broken back could stop her dream. Sam, didn't you find an audio log with Lucille's rig? C can you play it? Sam found my construction gear then. Well done. One of you Pathfinders got the Tempest. Mason Barrow, Zevin Rika, Matriarch Ishara, Alec Ryder. You were the best of us. Dad's gone. Makes you wonder how many other Pathfinders made it. We'll find out. It's what you do. Take care of my ship and each other. Whatever is in Andromeda, you're the Milky Way to them. We are such stuff as dreams are made on, and our little life is rounded with a sleep. I never thought I'd hear Lucille's voice again. She really cared about the Pathfinders. Enough to give them her rig. For luck. Lucille made it a part of the Tempest. Let's keep it that way. I'll see to it, Ryder. Thanks. Now let's go make her proud. Aww. All right. All right. I totally am a PB and Lexi, a children's story that the mothers used to tell us when we were small. It's from our oral history of the time before the scourge. The crew said I should write it down so that it could be added to the cultural center on the Nexus. Wayward child. Long ago, there was a child who was very stubborn and wouldn't listen to any wisdom. Not from her father, not from her mother's. One day, seeking adventure, she snuck aboard a spaceship with an unknown destination. That child was brave to seek adventure. However, she ended up getting space with a load of garbage. Deservedly, she froze in the cold vacuum of space and died. The end. <laughs> I don't know why the crew enjoyed it. It's a terrible story meant to scare youngsters into obedience. Is this a novelty to your, to your people? If so, how do you humans keep children from hurting themselves? We we don't. You tell children not to do something, they're going to do it. Alright, how are we doing? Now orbiting Kadara. Alright, we've still got a few things to do here. There we go, I've got 
extra places to visit and scan as well. Elodin, a new world. There's a whole load of stuff to take care of there. Then we've got Cora. Cora's mission over there. Vetra's mission over here. Right, okay. We're not going to start all that stuff now. Simply because this episode's almost over. And I want to make sure Kadara is as finished as I can get it. And I don't want to start any big new planets or missions when this at the end of an episode that always bugs me doing that so we'll wrap this up nicely finish off Kadara hopefully in the next episode and then we can go look for the Asari arc and help the Krogan so for now I'm going to end this episode here thank you very much for taking the time to watch this guys if you liked it like subscribe ding that bell I've been Sigma later this has been Mass Effect Andromeda and I'll catch you next time Take care now.